Hi, I'm Martin from Claremonts.com. What we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to play the game of Texas Hold'em Poker. Texas Hold'em. It's been a big booming game, hasn't it, in the internet era, and you can be a big part of it. And the best thing to do is to learn how to play it properly before you start playing the game. That's what I'm here to do. I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of Texas Hold'em Poker. What is it? It's a game of poker against other players. Eventually, there's going to be seven cards in play. Two are kind of secretive. They're your own cards. Five cards laid out across the middle here. And if the best player or the one with the strongest hand will win, and I'll talk you through it. You can see on the table here, you've got something called a dealer button. You'll see this when you're playing online. Everybody takes their turn to be dealer. The dealer button will move around after every hand, so everyone takes their turn. To the left of the dealer, that's the person who starts the betting off in every single hand. They're called the small blind. That'll be, in this case, here's the dealer. So to the dealer's left, here's your small blind. To their left, is what we call the big blinds. So what are the blinds? The blinds, they're the things that start the action going. They're the things that, 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 that compulse your bets so that we've got some action, we've got some betting to start every hand off. In this case, we'll say the small blind is one of these $5 chips here, or five pounds chips. So the small blind to the dealer left will be five, and the big blind has to be twice as much. So in this case, we'll call this what we call a 5-10 game, the, the five being the small blind, the 10 being the big blind. You'll see games of all different levels on the website. This would be a 5-10 game in this case. Five blind, 10 big blind. So that started our betting going, hasn't it? What happens next? We've got our, our table set, we've got our players. We have the cards dealt out initially. You have just two cards each, so out come the cards. To the, we'll have three players playing in this example. There you go, two cards to each player, and the players as the cards go over the line there, we'll have a little look at their cards, a little think, have they made a good start to the hand? We've got the betting started, so we've gone small blind here, we've got the big blind here, so we'd say the action, the, uh, the next person to act in the hand, is again, as it moves around clockwise, the player to the left here. So we've got the small blind and the big blind, so what does the player here have to do next? Well, the action is now 10, that's the amount of the bet, so they've now got three different choices. So very common terms in the world of poker are these three phrases. They are to fold, they are to call, and they are to raise. So let's go through the three different options for the player in the third position here in this example. If he folds, that's pretty straightforward. He looks at his cards, he sees that the betting is 10, he thinks, oh, that's too expensive. I don't have a very strong hand. Discretion is the better part of valor. I'm gonna fold my hand so the cards will be folded. Nothing ventured, you can actually have many hands in poker where you don't lose any money in the game. Quite nice. There's a second option, is to call. To think, well, I'm not doing too badly, but I don't want to commit too much to the hand. To call in this, at this stage would be just to match the bet. It was 10 there. The bet will, again, be 10 more. If he does that, the action keeps moving around in a clockwise direction until it comes to the next player. The third option is to raise. Now, raising is when you add money to the pot. You build it up. You, you play, possibly you could call it by playing aggressively. An aggressive player does a lot of raising. And to raise, you have to double the amount that's been bet previously. Here, the amount is 10. So if the player in the third box was going to raise, the minimum he would be able to do that would be 20. He couldn't bet 15, that wouldn't be allowed. You have to double it up. So he can bet 20 or more. So we'll say he has bet 20. The action then moves around the table. The player in the box here, he has to now have 20 committed to the pot. He's got five. We'll put him in for 20. We'll move the action around to the next player to his left. He's again got the same options. He's committed for 10, the bet's 20. He can fold, he can call it at 20, or he can raise it again. We'll put him in for a call. At this stage, everyone's got the same amount committed to the pot, and that's when the round of betting ends. And all the money goes, as we say, into the pot. It's gonna be played out at the end. So that's the end of the first round of betting. <laughs>